yum, which makes it plural. So washai is saviors. So wash washayim is saviors. All right, which letting you know that that's the name. All right, that's the actual name of the Lord. Which which I'm I'm sorry, that's a short part of the Lord's name, but it's actually written in the proper way, because the Lord's name is Yahushai. All right, and that's pretty much it on the on the on this part of the lesson. Just want to hit a couple of scriptures before we close, and um, and end the lesson. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Which some of these scriptures you brothers pretty much already know, but want to hit them just you know for other other brothers that may not know of these scriptures. So this is the first first and foremost this is the book of Job, nine and twenty-four. And just bear with me as this thing is uh, running a little slow. Is uh you know acting up because you know Satan got to do his thing because he's mad. But without that name, without the name Yahweh Shai, you ain't going nowhere, Jack. You ain't going nowhere without that name. Because that name is very important. Alright. Um, Alright, so Job 9 and 24. It says, um, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is in rulership? Esau, the so-called white man. Right? So it says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. So if he's going to cover the faces of the judges, you don't think he's going to try to cover the name and, and, and certain information that's uh, important for us to, uh, to receive salvation? Of, of course he's going to do it because that's his job. It's the job of Esau to, to cover up the truth because he's the devil and that's what he was created for. This is uh, in the book of Ezekiel, the 28th chapter and the 14th verse. It says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. This is talking about the king of Tyrus, which is talking about Esau today here in America. It says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Now, that's what, what, the, what uh, Esau's uh, purpose is, is to cover up everything, you know. And that's why he went around the world covering up the images, the real images of the Lord, of the Heavenly Father, of the uh, prophets, of the Israelites, and put his face up as, as being the, uh, the people of the Lord. You know, but in actuality, but in actuality, um, in actuality, those are not the names that he's given out, and th th that's not the I the image of of those um, of those um, those are not the real images of the um, the heavenly Father, His Son, the prophets, and uh, uh, the the the. Um, the Israelites, okay, those are not the actual the way they actually look. All right, so moving on, I want to just go here to the book of Ezekiel, the 28th chapter and the 14th verse in the Hebrew, because I want to show you the word covering, which is the word sakak, sakak, right? Now the word sakak is to hedge, fence about, shut in, to block. See, that's what he's doing. He's blo he's blocking the name. Overshadow, see, overshadowing, screen, stop the approach, shut off, cover. You know, I mean, I, that's, that's, I don't even have to read any more on that. So that's what he's been doing. Since he took over, that's his whole main purpose is just to hide the truth. But the truth just keeps resurfacing. And he scratches his head and doesn't understand why, because he doesn't believe in the Most High. You know, and that, that word just keeps coming out no matter what. You know, so... Let me go back over here. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah, the 24th chapter. Alright, we go to the book of um, Isaiah, the 24th chapter. And um, we're going to read the 5th verse. Alright, Isaiah 24. Just bear with me a second. Isaiah, the 24th chapter, and the 5th verse. And it says... Um, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. So the, basically the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. Meaning they broke the laws. But not only did they break the laws, they also changed the laws. They changed the laws, they changed the images, they, they changed everything. They changed the pronunciation of the language. You know, they've, they've, they've done a diligent search. You know, but that's alright because the Lord... Uh, put a uh, um, uh, a chess move on them by giving us 
the information and they 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 they're astonished at how uh, brothers like us that have never gone to like school really to learn you know we have not gone to any college or anything to learn the scriptures how we're able to go into the bible and bring out all this information because they don't understand it's a higher power which is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that has given us this knowledge to bring it out and, and to let let uh let the truth be brought out once and for all now the next the next um the next uh scripture is in the book of uh, Psalms uh the 50th chapter and the 16th verse and uh, we're almost done with the lesson just got a couple of more scriptures to bring out and um and then from there we're going to end the lesson all right so this is the book of Psalms the 50th chapter and the 16th and uh, I believe it's the 17th verse it says but unto the wicked the most I saith what has thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my word behind thee see so basically they don't believe in the most high that's why they just cast the Lord's word behind them that's why they change things and they don't give a damn and what does this tell you in the book of um, Revelation in, in uh, the 12th chapter if you take away from this book the most high going if you add to this book the most high is going to put them plagues on you and if you take away from this book you're going to be destroyed basically you know the part where it says uh, that the Lord is going to take you out of the book of life, those are talking about Israelites out there that are changing the words of the Lord. That's changing the doctrine. That's bringing that bullshit doctrine in. All right? Now, the next scripture is uh, one that Elder Tahar wanted to this week, you know, at, this past week at the, um, at the lesson. And, I mean, it hit me when, when he read it or when I read it. But, but then as I meditated on it d during the rest of the week, it, it like really dawned him. It's like wow, you know that's that that's heavy scripture, you know. That's why he went to the uh, front of the uh, English Bibles and showed you that that they were printed in the U.S. in the USA. And I showed you at the beginning of this lesson that that um, those uh, Torahs that we have, some of them were printed in um, in Israel, some of them were printed in in here in America, but they were they were a translation from what was written in Israel, you know. So they all go back f to them gutter rats over there. All right, it says, uh, this is Job 31, 35. Oh, that one would hear me. Behold, my desire is that the Almighty would answer me and that mine adversary had written a book. And they did. They, they, they didn't write the actual book, but they printed it. To print is the same thing cause be, because back then, before you had these presses, press machines, you had to write everything out by hand. You know, so they did print the book. It says, surely I would take it upon my shoulder and bind it as a crown to me. And that's what we've done. We've taken this book, um, put, borne it upon our shoulders, and wear it, wear it as a crown. That's why when we go out to speak, we bring out the information, and it flows because the Lord is, was with us to bring this information out. All right? And then, you know, there's other scriptures that go into the name and how important it is to know the Messiah's name, like in Proverbs, the 30th chapter and the 4th verse. Where it says, what is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell. You know, because those, excuse me, those names are very important for you to know for your salvation. And if you don't know those names, then you don't, you're not going to receive salvation. You have to know those names. And, and if you're part of the elect, you will know those names. You know, and then even in Revelation, the 15th chapter, I believe it's Revelation 15 and 1, where it speaks about, uh, um, uh, the men of the Lord, the 144,000 being sealed in their forehead, it says with, with his fa father's name and with his name. But then when you read in the English, it doesn't use his name because that's uh, um, that's the uh, part, that's the main part that you need in order to be delivered is the name of the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai. The name of his father, which is Yahweh, and the name of his son, which is Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the Most High, in the name of Yahweh Shai. You know? So, you know, with that, you know, we're going to end the lesson here. I hope you brothers learned something. And to the next time, I say Shalom.